Welcome to the CVHS AP Proctor Exam Training for 2022. We're taking this exam training because we want our kids to experience the best possible testing environment the day that they take this exam for college credit, high stakes test. We want them to feel comfortable, know what's going on, and know that their trusted adults also know what's going on. Uh, today, you will identify um, the, the exam dates and time. I will, I will show you where to get those. Um, you will identify um, your duties before, during, and after the exam, which is the most important thing. And you will review the general testing instructions as well as the specific testing instructions and know where to access those. Before the exam, please make sure that you attend the proctor training. Yeah, you're already doing that. Read all of the general and appropriate subject-specific exam administration instructions. Um, these are two separate sets of instructions that I'll talk about later. Um, make sure you familiarize yourself with any special equipment, CD players, recording devices, um, especially if you have that AP Spanish exam. Um, pick up your exam materials from the testing closet at the huddle at 7.15 and by 7.30 be on your way to your exam room. If you have a PM class um, that is taking a test, then you need to be at the testing closet by 11.15 for huddle and on your way to your room by 11.30 after we have our huddle. Confirm that your testing room is set up correctly and make sure that you have all the correct APID labels for your rosters, so double, triple check them. Here is what an APID label looks like. Each student will have an APID with their last name, their first name, and a set number of uh, ID labels that they will need to affix to their answer sheet. Speaking of that answer sheet, here is what an AP answer sheet looks like. And as you can see down here, there is a gray box to the left that students need to affix one of these um, AP ID label stickers onto. There is also an AP exam label that comes directly from their testing booklet that they need to fix there. Um, but we'll find out more about that at the huddle. On your way up to your room, you get to your room, first thing you need to do is make sure these four things are true. Desks are all facing the same direction. Five feet of space between each student's chair. Um, working clock is on the wall, displayed somewhere where they can see it. No subject related information is on the wall. During arrival, students will arrive to the building at 745. That's when we're telling them to be there. Um, and for afternoon classes, 11.45 a.m. Um, is when students will arrive. You can expect to see them at your door ready to come in at 8 o'clock if you have a morning session and at 12 o'clock if you have um, an afternoon session. Greet students warmly between 8 and 8.15 or 12 and 12.15. Um, tell them to leave their phones, backpacks, electronic devices, ear pods, iPods, uh, beepers, pagers, whatever they have that's electronic, um, Apple Watches, all of those things need to stay in their bag and need to stay out of the room, including yours as a proctor. Um, all they need to bring in with them is pencil, pen, and a calculator if they need it for that exam. Assign them randomly to the seats as they arrive. We are not doing alphabetical order. These needed to be done randomly. Begin directions at 8.15 or 12, 15 p.m., depending on if you have a morning exam or an afternoon exam. Proctor duties during the exam. Here's what you need to do. Make sure that you already have turned off and put away your own um, electronic device uh, devices. Um, that includes laptops, um, earbuds, uh, watches as well. Distribute the texting materials to each student individually following alternating distribution patterns, um, front to back, snaking, so on, so on, so forth. Make sure they are in the same order when you pick them up as well. Ensure that each student has their correct personalized APID label sheet. Again, double, triple check that. 
Um, ensure students correctly complete, complete the identification information on their answer sheets and other exam materials. Here is an example of the seating chart that you are to create. You get plenty of room for your seating chart. Um, but you don't have to use it all. And so you can block off with a border using a pencil the section that you need and then X out any students, X out any seats where students are not sitting, and then write in the student's first and last name for the areas where they are sitting. You as well at the very bottom should write in your name and the date of the exam um, at the bottom. And of course, don't forget at the top which AP test um, which room, and the school code, which will also be in your testing materials. During the exam, supervise the testing room. Make sure you are walking around and ensuring that kids are not using un, um, unapproved aids. Um, supply pens, pencils, and calculators as necessary. Um, extra paper, too. And Make sure you complete that seating chart at that time, okay? Proctor scripts. There are two different sets of proctor scripts. The general instructions are included for every single exam, so you need to know these very well. Every single exam will have general instructions, um, followed by specific instructions. Specific instructions are subject-related, so AP stats versus AP... Um, Spanish or AP Calculus AB or BC or Bio. Um, so you will read both the general and the specific instructions for your exam. During the break, so there is a 10 minute break between the two sections, section one multiple choice and section two free response. Um, that's a good time to check and make sure that AP ID label is where it needs to be for that student. Um, and it's also a good time to make sure some of the other information that students need to fill out is filled out correctly on their forms. After the exam, be sure to collect and count and account for all exam materials for dismissal. Um, again, check those APID labels and dismiss the students after you know everything that you have is what you need. Return seating chart and all exam materials to the AP coordinator. That's me um, at the testing closet in the kitchen is where you'll find me after your exam. If kids come late, they can come into the room if you are still reading the instructions, the general instructions. Once you start the instructions for the specific test, they cannot come in. I will give you a very specific sheet of paper that you can post in your window so we know when you started your specific instructions. And we know not to let any late students in. You can send students to the restroom one at a time um, during the exam. I wouldn't broadcast it though. I would, you know, tell them to take their test and when their break is, it's going to be 10 minutes. But um, encourage them to use their time wisely during the test and not take a bathroom break because they do not get extra time on this exam to make up for the time missed while they were in the restroom. Scheduled break is 10 minutes long. They can have food and drink so long as they are away from their testing materials. Think back of the room, five feet away, somewhere where they can't damage by on accident their testing materials. Um, since you don't have electronic devices, you will be provided with two signs to let us know um, that you need help, um, that you want a break. Um, one is urgent and one is non-urgent. Put the one that pertains to your situation under the door and loaders will help you recap of what you need for the day, morning huddles, pick up materials, students begin checking in, you start the directions, and the exam itself has to start by either 9 a.m. or 1 p.m. So after all the directions are done and students have started writing their exam by those times. Email me if you see a conflict with your schedule. Email me if you see an open spot and would like a volunteer. I would like two volunteers. I still need people. 
Um, email me if you're scheduled a proctor exam with a subject that you have previously taught because you can't do that. Or if you have a sibling or a family member taking a particular exam at another school or location, I can't have you proctor if that is your situation either. Um, in the subject line of your email, please put AP Testing 2022. Here's a link for where you can find testing materials, AP Exam Folder 2022, CVHS Staff is the Pathway Assessment, AP, AP Exams 2022. If you open it up, you will find specific exam instructions, general exam instruction, and for each day, I will populate the specific exam attendance form as well as exam instructions. I will print those attendance forms though for you. Those are just a reference for me that I will use the day of the exam. If you have AP Spanish language, know that your huddle will take place half an hour um, the night before um, on May 10th because that is a very um, intense exam that has a lot of moving parts and we need to be all on the same page. And so May 10th, the evening before the AP Spanish exam is when that huddle will take place. Again, reach out if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, go AP exam. And one final note, um, here is the AP Hub if you haven't seen it before. Um, this is also located um, in the CVHS um, AP Exams 2022 uh, folder that I showed you earlier. The most important tab is the CVHS General Schedule tab where you'll see the dates of the exam, who's the proctor, who the proctors are, how many proctors there are total, and eventually the rooms will also populate here once I finalize those, and who the floaters are for those days. Um, so also a very useful tab for you to have if you want to look and see what other tests you might be proctoring. All right, that's all the time I got. Thank you for your time and go AP.